What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Albion Online video. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but the next beta test is right around the corner and I figured I should put out some content. Um, as you can see, I'm on my alternate character and not my main account, and that's because my alternate character had a whole bunch of learning points saved up, so I decided um, I should test out all the new abilities on the different armors and weapons and uh, kind of figure out what I want to go with before the next test starts. I found a build that I really liked, so I figured I'd share with you guys, and um, I also have some clips of examples of all the different abilities in action. But before I get into those, I should probably just tell you tell you all what I'm working with here. Uh, I've decided to go with the full assassin set and the warbow. This is a great build for um, solo roaming. I think it has some of the best escapes. It doesn't have the best um, um, speed in terms of chasing someone down, but uh, it has great survivability. What I have is the assassin's hood, which has smoke bomb. It's uh, you place the smoke bomb under your feet. It's like this little purple cloud. Um, you're invisible and everything in it is also silenced. So m most of the time you're going to be using this as an escape, but sometimes you can actually use it fairly aggressively. And I can, I have actually have a clip of that. I use the movement speed passive on all my leather, um, on all my armor. So just save time in the future there. It's all increased move speed. The jacket, I have ambush, which is another invisibility thing. It's uh, you turn invisible for eight seconds, and then at, while you're invisible, you kind of sort of have these charges. And once they charge up fully, you can get up to 60% um, damage bonus on your next attack. Most of the time, I use this as either an escape method or I use this to, um, if I'm in a group battle, I'll just jam the ambush button so that I kind of get people, I deter people away from attacking me and and then I kind of reset and then, you know, attack them again later. Um, occasionally, though, you can ambush and then save full charges and fire off a magic arrow and, and deal a bunch of damage that way. And we have the boots, which is refreshing sprint, increased move speed by 96% for three seconds. So it's a good to get away and to chase down. It also reduces your cooldowns, which um, my build is very cooldown heavy. Smoke bomb, uh, invisibility, magic arrow, all these are very powerful effects. So being able to reduce the cooldown on those greatly increases my chance of um, using them multiple times within the same battle. Then my weapon, I have the war bow. I go with poison arrow. This is, uh, it stacks up to three times and it poise, it's like a dot damage over time effect. And, um, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's very good for kiting. And I have some good examples of that. So ideally what you do is you, you, you put three stacks and then you just kite the person, assuming they're melee. And then every time the, the stack's about to run out, you just turn around, poke them again with another one and just keep, keep running, whether you're running away or chasing them. Frost shot, you leap backwards, and at the same time, if um, someone's in front of you or in, in line of sight of the frost shot, they get slowed down. Now, you can use this to leap backwards, but also you can aim it the other way and leap forwards to maybe catch up to someone. Uh, magic arrow, this is your uh, best ability. Uh, you fire a magical arrow that explodes on impact, 633 damage, and also stuns them all. So it's an a it can be an AoE stun. This is very good for catching up to someone, stunning them to lock them down for the other teammates. It's also good if you're running away. You can turn around and fire off a magic arrow, frost shot the opposite direction, and, and maybe mount up and get away that way. Um, it's also kind of the only thing you bring to group fights. You're not very good. In, like You don't provide that much in group fights. You don't do a lot of damage and all your other abilities don't do much. But the magic arrow, if you can get a nice AoE stun, then it works wonders. And the passive I'm going with is the Bodkin Arrows, which increases the range of your auto attacks by 20%. So this is the build that I really like. Um, I'd say the biggest pro to this build is if you like to solo a lot, you like to go out and explore, um, but you're you want to be able to get away. I think this is the build you want. Um, you, you should be able to escape most situations. It does require a little bit of, uh, like you kind of got to juke people with the invisibility a bit. It's not a 100% guaranteed getaway, but, um, it's very strong. Uh, you won't be able to chase people down as much as if, um, I know there's some builds with, um, the haste chest and the run ability and are really good at chasing people down. This isn't that, um, there are going to be people that are faster than you, but you should be able to escape using your invisibilities. Also, another good pro is um, if you get caught off guard and someone charges you, stuns you, roots you, you can still mash your smoke bomb or ambush. If you are like the speed build of the archer, you can't do that. If they if they catch you, you're kind of done. So uh, this is the build that I like, and I'm going to show you guys some different clips of um, yellow zone B yellow zone PVP. It's kind of fitting because I have my. My name's uh, the Yellow Zone Hero, and uh, this isn't to show um, gear or 
uh, fair fights or red zone or black zone PvP is just purely to show showcase the abilities. So we'll get into that right now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be showing off is the poison arrow. I'm going to be dueling a pretty well geared melee axe wielder. Um, this is the only duel in the video, by the way. I just figured the duel was the easiest to kind of showcase the kiting, and it kind of it kind of showcases all the abilities. Um, but the general game plan is going to be to keep three stacks of poison on this person and then just kite them as best as possible. Uh, frost shot them, sprint away. Once you get close, use the smoke bomber or the invisibility and try to reset them. Now, in a perfect world, I'll keep three stacks of poison on them at all times. Obviously, I'm going to miss it sometimes like I just did. I was, you know, my timing was a little bit off. Sometimes you might not have the opportunity. But the general game plan is just rotate your cooldowns in a fashion where you can kite the best as possible and just keep the three stacks of poison on them now in the open world it's much easier because obviously when i'm in a duel i'm confined to this circle here uh, in the open world i can go away as far as i want and then come back or you know i can i can go all sorts of different directions but in general this is why you take the poison arrow it's great against melees you can pretty much beat up on any melee um, especially in the open world and then if you run into someone that you can't really kite or beat up on like for say maybe a, a curse staff or a fire staff well guess what you can just run away you don't have to you don't have to fight them you can pick your battles here it kind of shows where um, you can use the invisibility to sort of juke out your opponent to but while still staying in the fight not just purely for escape so there you have it um, the next one I'm gonna be showcasing the good old smoke bomb here I'm in the yellow zone, just kind of poking around at these people. They got a claymore and a bow. I use a smoke bomb. I don't have any dots on me, so it allows me to mount up. And look at that, just breeze right on out of there. Pretty classic. Now, you can't do that if they have, um, you know, like if the halberd uses their forest spears or whatever and just starts AoE attacking you. Um, but here you see a, an aggressive smoke bomb. There's a whole bunch of guys there. Bam, run right in the middle of them all. Do the smoke bomb, now they're all silenced. Now, I don't recommend doing that often. It's kind of dangerous, especially since you're a range. But in that, like in a situation like that, it's pretty nice. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show is just a simple magic arrow in the group fight. You can see me just shoot the arrow here. It's going to stun like three or four people. And that's it. Just that's, that's, <laughs> that's basically your job in the group fight. Here, I'm going to show another escape. And... Um, this time, the smoke bomb doesn't work, or I, I try to juke him out. No, this is the invisibility. Yeah, just straight up invisibility and then try and juke him out. They all go that way, you go this way, and, you know, mount up. Keep in mind, you kind of have to juke him out, though, because your invisibility breaks if you break the radius. This is kind of an escape that just shows a little bit of everything. Um, this is also the last clip of the video, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, and, yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in the beta. Here, I try to use a smoke bomb, but for some reason he can hit me, so I gotta go to other means. Sprint away, frost shot away, stun them both with the arrow, use the invisibility, watch them all run away in the opposite direction like fools. Frost shot, frost jump again, mount away, and breeze. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.